Now to an I-Team investigation. Clayton County Interim Sheriff LaVon Allen was recently a no-show at candidate forums. So our I-Team started looking into Allen's background to see what kind of questions he might be asked. Well, senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell says Allen's meteoric rise within the department and an earlier arrest raised questions for many current and former sheriffs, Dale. That's right. It's one of the things we looked at and the sheriffs I talked to were surprised at what we found. And several told me it's the kind of information voters should know about. Take a drive down Terra Boulevard and it's clear the Clayton County Sheriff wants to stay the sheriff. Or check out the sheriff's official webpage. Levon Allen seems to be everywhere. The only one who is not here was the current interim sheriff, LaVon Allen. Which made it surprising when Allen was the only one of five candidates who was a no-show for a recent sheriff's candidate forum. We don't have enough staff inside the jail, and that's a, a, a huge problem. We decided to look into Allen's work history and see if we had any questions of our own. According to former sheriff Victor Hill's Facebook page, he handpicked Allen, whom he describes as his godson, to follow in his footsteps. Sheriff, any comment? The longtime sheriff is leaving office because he is headed to prison. Late last year, a jury convicted Hill of violating the constitutional rights of pretrial detainees by having them strapped into restraint chairs for hours at a time. A judge will sentence Hill later this month. By law, Chief Deputy Roland Borer became sheriff. He soon retired, opening the door for LaVon Allen to become interim sheriff. Hill hired Allen in 2013, after Allen voluntarily resigned from his job as a DeKalb County Jail officer, following his arrest on domestic violence charges. That's probably the worst part, that, that something would get to a point where uh, somebody in a, in a family situation would have to call 911. Chris Harvey is with the Peace Officer Standard and Training Council, which regulates sworn officers in Georgia. Police records show Allen got into a dispute with his wife over their two-year-old. Prosecutors charged Allen with family violence, battery and simple battery, cruelty to children, and disorderly conduct. Post recommendation, revoke Allen's law enforcement certification. Because the battery and simple battery and cruelty to children were serious charges in their minds. Yes, I would think so. But Allen's wife later recanted her claim, saying her husband never struck me or caused any intentional harm. Allen denied pushing her. The more serious battery charges were not prosecuted. Allen pled no contest to two disorderly conduct charges, misdemeanors both. He was sentenced to probation. Harvey says it's not terribly serious, but... When you get into talking about politics and elections, that's really something for the, the voters to be aware of. It's certainly something that, that they could consider. We talked to a number of current and former sheriffs, none of whom wanted to appear on camera, but all expressed concern about LaVon Allen's arrest record and his meteoric rise up the chain of command here at the Clayton County Sheriff's Office. Post records show that Allen went from deputy sheriff to the number two man in the department, chief deputy, in three and a half years. It's completely unusual. Karen Morrison is a former assistant U.S. attorney in New York. We showed her Allen's promotion records under his godfather, Sheriff Victor Hill. What jumped out? How Allen went from sergeant to lieutenant in five months and captain to major in one month. No regular person is in a particular position for like a month or two. It doesn't fully pass the smell test. The rapid fire promotions also came with huge salary increases. Allen went from a $43,000 a year deputy sheriff to 143,000 chief deputy. Allen, who now oversees a $40 million sheriff's budget, has twice filed for personal bankruptcy. He would not respond to our texts asking for an interview. What about the other candidates? We examined post records for the other four sheriff's candidates as well. Only one had any disciplinary issues, and it was nearly 20 years ago. 
Terry Evans had two domestic violence cases. One was a request by his wife for a temporary protective order. It was dismissed. The other was a criminal case, battery, family violence, and cruelty to children. A judge found Evans not guilty. Evans texted us to say he served and protected citizens for 32 years in law enforcement and the Marines, and he will continue to do so. Karen Morrison is still troubled by the rapid rise of Levon Allen in the Clayton County Sheriff's Department. I think the worst part of all this is the potential specter of um, the former Sheriff Victor Hill still potentially running things um, by using someone who's, you know, close to him personally um, and whose qualifications haven't really been proved given the, the speed of his ascent. Now, LaVon Allen didn't respond to my text requesting an interview, and one of former Sheriff Victor Hill's lawyers didn't respond as well. All right, interesting to see what you find when you dig in their backgrounds. Yeah, and we got an election coming up, so we'll, yeah. it'll be interesting what the Clayton County voters think That's of all right. this. The facts pretty well speak for themselves. Dale, thanks mm -hmm. very much.